Hi, I'm Alnur. I'm here with the Rockstar Zayin. Oh, it's too kind of you, Alnur. How are you? <laughs> awesome. Uh, thank you so much for taking time yeah, uh, sure, from totally. your busy schedule. Of course. I, I know you've been traveling around the country. You've been doing lots of great stuff. And uh, the work that you've been doing in empowering uh, individuals, uh, the work that you're doing with so many not-for-profit sectors and all of those. Could you share a little bit about what you do and how we can empower, especially in today's economy, the tapestry of so many individuals that are um, have lost jobs, especially in yes. the very recent times and the budget cuts and what individuals are going to look for um, for organizations, how can organizations step up and what our role should be. Yeah, no, it's an interesting question, Alner. I mean, I think one of the most interesting things right now is um, the fact that we don't know what we don't know yet, right? And, mm -hmm. and, and I mean that in a few ways. Number one, what's gonna happen with the future of some of our public sector jobs? Yeah. We don't really have a good understanding of that. Very true. Secondly, we actually don't know what, in a more tactical sense, what the future of our jobs will look like. Not just here in Alberta or Calgary where we sit, but what the future of like, employment looks like, right? And this is, I know, something you've been working on when you talk to people about, you know, applying for jobs in their second or third chapters of their lives and looking at what the future of using digital tools like LinkedIn, etc. are. But, I mean, that all fundamentally changes when, like, our jobs change. And I think what we don't know is, is something we can't control. So wh why would we spend undue force and energy trying to pontificate or predict or prognosticate about something we'd, we don't, as, 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 as individuals, have control about? So let's focus on something we can control. And I think what will remain the same is the fact that as we go forward, despite whatever our jobs look like, what, what we do for our nine to five, so to say, um, what I think we still need to maintain is just this sense of community responsibility because that is what still will fuel a lot of the work, a lot of the satisfaction, a lot of the happiness, you know? We, ha we have so many conversations about happiness these days, what the success metric is. Is it a number? Is it a... And I think what we realized in, in, through the research from other people is that people are happy when they find meaning in life. Right? Yes. That is the number one thing. Happiness yes. is love, happiness is community. Yes. And yes. the best way to get community is to go out there, volunteer in civil society, get involved in boards. Yes, it may not pay you, but trust me, the satisfaction for that stuff. So and the, you, on the upside, mm -hmm. the upside of saying, I contribute this to community. You do not know where your next lead, your next conversation, your next oh opportunity is going to come love from. love that. And, 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 and throwing yourselves into community, yes. getting the upside of happiness, getting the upside of these spontaneous reactions and con conversations that you might have with people. Yeah. I mean, what's better than that? And, and it puts you in that mood where you're, you're not necessarily going out there and like hunting for work. You're going out there trying to build community and work will be a residual benefit. I mean, that's, I mean I'm, I'm not trying to step on what you do, but like that's what I found most successful for people. And I know it's a tough mindset to get when you're like looking for an end transaction, which is a new job yes. or a new opportunity. Yeah. But by doing it in a way where you're just putting yourself out to community first, I mean, that's where all the residual upside comes. Like, karma is real, man, in that sense, isn't it? Like, isn't so that true. what you've seen? You're, you're preaching to the choir, but I, I, I was know just, I have. Yeah. you know, when you were talking, I, I had this funny thing. What, you mean, like, happiness is not going by the new shiny toy, or well, in my case, so you know, I the colorful I, socks? I was, just in, I was just in Toronto recently, and someone uh, was telling me this amazing phrase, which is like, you spend every year between zero and 50 trying to accumulate stuff and then you spend every year from 50 onwards saying, I don't need any of this stuff and trying to get rid of it. And so, you know, if, 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 the, if the North Star of focus uh, for people around what jobs mean, what careers mean, what community contribution means, is focused on what they can do for others, then the, then the, and what you see every single time is like, people come and stand up for you if you're standing up for them, right? If you're standing up for a cause they care about, they find a way to get you an opportunity, or your next lead, or a next conversation. Yes. And, and I mean, that's just the most organic, and I think just the most gratifying way to find, you know, those next opportunities. Right? This is so true. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I do uh, facilitate Living Life to the Full, which yeah, is right, a 12-week right. uh, cognitive behavior therapy um, session and you know I was just grateful that I was able to uh, be recognized and asked to lead the program nationally so uh, what I say to people is the reason why I facilitate these when I start the class is for selfish reasons is because I get to use these tools yeah and at, on the eighth session we talk about ten things you can do right now to make you happy right and so these are not the shiny objects that yeah right. um, you know by the way I'm 54 so I am still collecting stuff 
Just yeah. kidding. Uh, <laughs> you talk to that. <laughs> uh, but it is so true. When you do give with your heart and not expect in return, and that karma builds up, it's that bank that we talk about. Right. When you are out there giving, you are building your network. You totally and are. You totally that are. is the key to job search. So, so many people are using it in different format. They are saying, well, I need to, um, you know, just pump out those resumes of resumes. But what they don't realize is that when they're going out, once I have actually got a job from my volunteer opportunities. Yes, of course. I have got that, that jobs. That does not surprise me at all. That you know, does not surprise yeah, me. Yeah, I have got a job yeah. from my social network. It is so true. And so these things that you're sharing, yeah. this is brilliant. Is yes. that you know what people don't realize is that when when they are doing this, not only a are they building on their skill set because we need to be flexible with yes. AI that's coming into the marketplace. Perhaps go out and volunteer in an organization where if you do not have that skill set as a benefit of volunteering, you learn, you are, you you're learning you get exposed well. to it, absolutely. You, you're, getting that, you're getting that free education. There are so many places where you can get that education. Absolutely. And um, a couple of weeks ago, I shared about LinkedIn having this um, a skills assessment that is, yeah. the, the, that's what they're doing. And so individuals can go ahead and take the test. Right now, there's about 72 different types of skills that they can do, but what LinkedIn is doing is offering, sorry, I'm just going on LinkedIn, but it is a message that you can get LinkedIn learning for free yeah. and and uh, use that skill and, and be able to get a job after that. Totally. Sorry, I'm going into that. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I mean, it's all the same thing, right? It's put yourself out there, add value before you ask for it, right? Yes. Um, show, you know, fill up the gas tank before you try to pump, you know, like that's it's awesome. just the, the basic the basic sort of things. And yes. I think the satisfaction, the community involvement, and frankly, the, our city would be better for it, right? And, and I think there's so many people doing that already. Um, and, I, and I just think adding to that chorus, to what you said so eloquently. Great. Um, great. Um, I'm a mayor. Yes. Uh, his worship. Naid Nenshi had uh, done three things for Calgary. Mm -hmm. are, you going, are you able to share a little bit about that? Yeah, so I think uh, right after his first election, he started this initiative called Three Things for Calgary, where every year, if Calgarians, 1.3 million of us, did three things, uh, can you imagine the scale and scope? And it could be as simple as shoveling the walk for your neighbor, to joining a nonprofit board, to starting your own organization. Scope and scale does not matter. What does matter is intent, and what does matter is purpose. Because the, we know, like, it just, just evidence-based, the more we give, the more we actually are getting, right? And, and, and contributing to community is just one of the, one of the quickest hacks, if, you, if there ever, ever was one. Contributing to community is one of the quickest hacks to uh, obviously satisfaction, happiness, and expanding your network. 100% guaranteed. Awesome. Yeah. And then what happens when you build your network is you meet together and have chai and uh, figure out how else you can contribute to your community and that is the message here. Thank you ever so much for you. No, thank you. No, and thank you for all you do. Thank you for facilitating these conversations. Thank you for meeting people um, that, that you know, I know you, you try to make these collisions happen constantly. Thanks for connecting so many people to each other and just offering your support to community because that's what your entire, mm -hmm. not just brand, I don't want to say it in that way, that's what your entire ethos is. Like you mm -hmm. are wanting to put that positive energy out there and whoever wants to connect with it can and I think that is very, very positive and I'd say very infectious. So thanks for doing oh, that. My pleasure. And thanks so much. And he is uh, quite generous in his compliments. So great. Thank you ever so much, Lane. This has been an absolute delight. Of course, my friend. Yeah. All right. Cheers.